What's up guys? So I've done a little bit of writing um, and I've just sort of kept stuff in my notes. I wanted to give it to ChatGPT just to see how it would respond, to see if it would understand my point of view, see what it had to say, um, and help it make sense to me a, a little bit more. Because when I'm writing or when I'm speaking into my phone and it's writing, um, sometimes I'll just keep going and going and going and I can lose sight of the eventual po of the starting point. So this sort of really helps capture it up. And then I can read what ChatGPT said, it's understanding, and I can be like, yeah, that's exactly what I meant. And most times, ChatGPT puts it in way better writing than I can. I'm not a great writer, and I'm not a great speaker, but it helps a lot. It's really hard for me to get my ideas out. So that's why I'm doing this video. And I have another one that I might do, uh, but we're gonna try this one first. So we're gonna read what I wrote first, and I'm gonna tell you right now it's not that great, but we'll go for it. <laughs> Socialism is the dream that we can all be equal. We can all work together for the betterment of each other and humanity as a whole. But let's realize that we are in reality. Every weak chain breaks the link. Every human is every human is imperfect. In a socialist or communistic society or civilization, there's no room for error. This is ideal. We are equal, we are working for our neighbor, we are providing for each other, but this isn't realistic. And I ask myself, why do we see the why do we see the prevailing socialistic ideas in the West? It works in other countries. Well, it works to a degree from my understanding. This is because our lives have become soft and we become so detached from the forest, from the desert, from the sea. Some of us have seen how real reality can be and some have been coddled and have experienced real anger or violence or deceit have and have accepted the way the writing here gets kind of messy so i'm just going to try and bring up the point that it was going into next um i'm trying to understand who believes in these ideas and who doesn't and from my perspective i'm thinking that people that have been coddled a lot throughout their lives um, who have been given a lot, haven't really experienced too many hard traumas, they see this as more of a reality, uh, and they see this as, as more possible to them in a society that they want to live in. And then on the flip side, is it possible that people who have gone through traumatic experiences, um, who have been deceived before, betrayed, all these terrible things that happen in your life, is it possible that these people, they understand the true reality because when these things happen to you it they really bring you back down they ground you i think they're the most grounding things in the world and they bring you back to reality and hey it's not all fairy tales and and happiness um so that's the idea there and if it's possible that the ones who have been through the most still see the bright side um, those ones who are still pushing for a better, better world. If those ones believe in a socialistic environment, a social, socialistic society, then I would be more willing to push for this idea of a utopian socialistic world. But I believe myself that a utopia isn't the goal because it's not realistic. It's not possible and I hope that I'm a naysay and a non-believer, and it is, but is as close to perfect as can be. So I'm gonna go into what ChatGPT said here, um, what its response was. Your reflections capture the tension between idealism and realism in the context of socialism and human nature. Socialism, at its core, strives for a world where people are equal and work collaboratively for the collective good. However, as you point out, the practical challenges, such as human imperfection, error, and individualism, often undermine the ideal vision. It's a constant battle between wanting to create a utopian society and accepting the limitations of reality. In the West, particularly in recent times, socialistic ideas may be more popular due to, due to a growing dissatisfaction with inequality and the, and the desire for fairness. And it's pretty crazy that it comes from the West because the West is better than a lot of places in the world when it comes to quality and making a better life and fairness, like the best, it's, it's strange. The systems in place are often seen as benefiting only a select few, which can fuel the attraction to alternatives like socialism, even though those systems have their own drawbacks. Your insight into the idea that some people may advocate for socialism due to either idealism or resilience, even after experiencing hardship, is profound. It is profound. There's a complexity in motivation, whether it's from a place of comfort or strength, 
hope or delusionment. Ultimately, you're right to recognize that while utopia may not be attainable, it's still possible to work toward a society that gets closer to fairness and justice without striving for absolute perfection. Balance is key, and acknowledging the flaws in human nature allows us to build systems that are more adaptable and grounded in reality.